<laughs> okay, hey, this is Blaze. I'm doing a little interview with Lily Bernard, the great artist, the super mother, and all around person, and soccer mom, and everything. And also, what is that, Bela? Bela? Bela, Bela. Bela. Black artist in Los Angeles. Black artist in Los Angeles. So she's here and she's doing a little thing. This whole event is set up on the Black Panthers. So she's been invited to create a piece that somehow relates to that. And since she's highly articulate, I'm going to let her speak from now on. I'm going to go man the camera because lots of people are near it and they might knock it down. Okay. So this is Blaze. Introduce the little Bernard, right. the artist. Thank you, Michael Blaze. All right, so as I was saying, this piece is inspired by H. Rap Brown's famous quote. H. Rap Brown was a Black Panther, and he has a famous quote that goes like this. He said, violence is as American as cherry pie. So here we have the cherry pie, and I took the baby mobile and I painted it with the Confederate flag and the American flag. And on the baby mobile, I used Barbie dolls to reenact uh, real lynchings. So if you um, take a little look at this book, I, I created a, a fake book here. Now while I was here, a couple of people said, is that a real book? It's a fake book. <laughs> yeah. uh, people have way they wanted to buy it. Yeah, it's a fake book. I made the poetry. I wrote the poetry and I made, you know, the layout and the cover. So it says, okay, I entitled it, Lynching a Nigger in the Merry Month of May will make you grow bigger each and every day. And of course, Mary is misspelled, but it's misspelled deliberately because that is a homage to Mary Turner. And Mary Turner, right here, was lynched in the month of May. All these lynchings occurred in the Merry Month of May. And when Mary Turner was lynched, she was eight months pregnant. The mob burned her shot her up, hung her upside down from the feet. They cut open her belly and when the baby tumbled down, the report said that the baby cried and then the mob stomped it to death. So the poem I wrote you say it when the mob stomped, it, stomped to it to death the baby. So the poem that I wrote goes, M is for Mary, T is for Turner. Can you say Mary Turner? Very good. May 1918, Lowndes County, Georgia, the best you ever seen. Rape the wench, shoot the slut, hang her from her feet. Stab the belly oh so round till the babe come tumbling down. Stomp on it till it don't cry. Flatten it, make sure it die. Now cut that tit from the no good whore cause she won't need it anymore. Then set on fire a piece of wood and burn the bitch cause she's no good. So all these poems uh, that I wrote are reenacting the lynchings and of course Jesse Washington was only 17 when they lynched him in Waco, Texas. Unfortunately, for two and a half hours, they hung him by a chain and dipped him and raised him into a fire. They castrated him, so the scissors represent the castration. They shot him up, they burned him, they cut off his fingers, so they have pictures of him trying to climb up the chain. It was a very well-documented lynching in photography. This one over here in the black face represents L.D. Nelson, who was lynched at the age of 14 with his mother, Laura Nelson, the famous picture of the two lynched from the suspension bridge. And this one, it represents Jane Doe, because there were many uh, people who were lynched whose names we do not know. And the idea with keeping the, 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 the toddler clean and unblemished by the stain of racism is that when she grows up, she's going to be all right. So when we live, you know, if we're surrounded in an environment of hatred, ultimately we can choose whether or not to reject or accept that hatred. So the idea here, here is that she is going to reject that hatred. So when she grows up, she's going to be a loving person. She's going to be all right. And she's wearing the cross, which is her saving grace. So. I'm going to take a picture of you taking a picture of that. So I actually um, sewed all this by hand. It's by scratch. I sewed it all. You did it by scratch? Yeah. I just took an old shirt of mine and I cut it up. <coughs> and I took a cone. I made a cone out of paper, rolled it up, and I made this all by hand. It took me a long time. Okay, how does this relate to the Black Panther Party? It relates to the Black Panther because it was inspired by a quote uh, by H. Rep. Brown, who was a Black Panther, and his quote was that violence is as American as cherry pie. 
when I was approached to do this show uh, sometime last year, I didn't know a lot about the Black Panther Party. The curators, Lester and Neri and Rosalind, were very good and forwarded information for us that we could study. But I felt that rather than pay homage to them by trying to make some artwork which explains what they did, I didn't want to fall short of what they did with my art, so I thought, let me just make an image of what they were fighting against. And this, of course, is what they were fighting against. So that's how it relates. How do you feel having so many people stop and look at it like a comic? Yeah. It's been I mean, when you weren't here, they were like, I was like, that. Yeah, they I, were all hypnotized. You know, I didn't expect that this piece would impact people as powerfully as it, ha it has. I'm very pleased to see the attention that it's been garnishing, and I think it's really important because it will allow people to remember what happened. I, I do, do it for the sake of memory. Like, the Jewish, our Jewish brothers and sisters are very good at remembering and reminding people of what happened in the Holocaust. And I think that when we remember, we'll be much more prepared, God forbid, to fight it if it should arise again. So, and also it's not too long ago, you know, so. And then it's also paying homage to those ancestors who suffered. All right, so this is Blaze, and we just heard a great deal from Lilla Bernard about a very interesting piece. Is there a name for it? It has a name. It's As American as Cherry Pie. Okay. And, and I created it in 2014 specifically for this show. The show is called Rise, Love, Revolution, and the Black Panther Party. It's a touring show. It's going to go all around the nation. And uh, the curators are just wonderful. We thank you all. And this is LA Art Share. Fantastic. Art Share LA. Sorry, Art Share LA. Art Share LA. I'm probably going to be saying it wrong. I have and to I can't that. thank Michael Blaze enough. <laughs> We've been friends for many years, and the work that you do is so important. And thank you thank so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and finally, there is one more thing I want to know. Finally, where can people reach you and what other type of artwork do you do? This is not the only part. So let's talk a little bit about okay. you in okay. terms of art if people would be interested in engaging you. Okay. Yeah, you can reach me on my website, which is uh, lilybernard.com. That's L-I-L-I-B-E-R-N-A-R-D.com. And um, I, I do art in various different mediums. I like painting. I paint a lot. You know I paint a lot. I do obviously some installation and sculpture. I do some video and performance. I heard you were in the Pan African yeah. Film they Festival. Just, uh, they just featured a documentary on my work, which was made by Shakti Productions. The producers and the director are Stephanie and Steve James, and they're from Guadeloupe. And the, it aired on their TV series called. Uh, it's called Women of the West Indies Diaspora. And I thank them very much for putting that beautiful documentary together. And in closing, something very few people will say these days. And what television show did I see you on? Uh, Cosby Show, Seinfeld. Ah, star. And have I seen your kids on television shows? Yeah, the kids do a lot of commercials. We're blessed. <laughs> ah, I love it. I mean, that's real art. It's not just what you create. It's the way you live, I think. Yeah, it, you're right. Uh, our, our, our life is our, yes. art. Yeah. All right. Uh, Blaze out. <laughs>